hey what's up everyone welcome back to my channel this is walter from wix ideas and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can filter your wix repeater using drop down connected to a data set these drop downs are only controlled by a data set and there is no single line of code involved in this tutorial so i'm able to search for anything on this page right now and i'm able to also choose to show all of these and also to show a couple of things from this drop down element now this is so simple it's as simple as just connecting your repeater to just these elements here including this reset button here which does a very good job at making sure that it resets everything that you have imputed which has literally taken the no code experience to a whole different level by providing us with this idea and this feature that we don't even need to write a single line of code to perform filters and searches on our website and you can see i'm literally combining two different repeaters filtering two different fields from my database so before i show you how to do this don't forget to smash that subscribe button give this video a like and also don't forget to leave a comment for me and also don't forget to turn on the bell notification to be the first to know of future videos now let's jump into the editor i'm going to show you how to achieve all of this all right so this is the blank page that i'm going to use and i'm going to go through this step by step if you're a beginner this is going to be very helpful for you now the first thing you want to do is to create a content manager now a content manager is like a database that allows you to save content and you can display them on your page now in order to create that go over to the collections here and then you can see i already have one being created if you don't have one yet go ahead and create a collection now this is very simple all you have to do is to give it a name and once you're done click on create and once you click on create it's going to open up a database for you which is going to look very similar to mine so let's go ahead and click on mine which i have named restaurant all right guys so this is my database and or content manager and this is how it looks like i have the title the image i have a location i have a cuisine field and this is a Link that works automatically generates when you create a dynamic page if you want to add a new field you can go ahead and click on this add field and once you do you're going to choose the kind of field that you want to use for me i've only kept it consistent by only choosing the text and image fields so you want to also go ahead and probably choose a text field for example give it a name and don't worry about what the field key is unless you're really particular about how you want it to look like once you're done go ahead and save it and that is as simple as how to create all of this field now the next step what we're going to do here is i want my site visitors to be able to filter between the location and also the cuisine fields of my content manager so that they can search for any of these cuisines that they really want all right so now let's go back to the editor and let's begin to design the repeater now the repeater is just a layout that allows you to display the content from your content manager now let's go ahead and look for where we can find it you can go over to the list section here and you can find the repeaters you can drag and drop any of the repeaters that you're really comfortable with and you can add any elements to it or basically most elements to it now as you can see wix already has a preset for us and we can literally start working with this preset that they gave us but what i really want to have here as you can see from here we have an image i want to go ahead and add an image to my repeater but first of all let's remove the background and change it to a white color so let's go ahead and click on change the background now once you click on that go to color and you can change it to any kind of color that you want now i want mine to be white i'm going to leave it that way i'm going to go back to this section and say apply to all items so it's going to apply the same settings i have across the other repeaters now it's called a repeater because it has a repeating layout as you can see whatever is here is also here and it's also here and that is how our content from our content manager will look like now let's go ahead and begin to add things to it such as the image let's go to add go to image and then from here you can upload a new image you can import an image or you can select images that you already have on your site or you can look at three weeks images i'm going to go with the site images so i already have a couple of them that i've uploaded so i'm going to go ahead and resize this to the section so that it's easy to drag it and drop onto that repeater now as you can see once you drop it here it also shows on the other one but don't worry i'm going to show you how to make it so that it shows different images on different layouts and let's go over to design i want to make it look a little bit different something similar to what i already have here now go ahead and choose the kind of one that you want now because i already edited this before it saved the kind of design that i have now you can go ahead and choose from any of these layout that are here and you can freely customize the design to your taste so mine is looking the way i kind of want it to be and that is already fine i'm going to go ahead and look at the next element that i want which is the title of the repeater now let's go ahead and choose this text here that we already added we're just going to customize this a little bit more to make it consistent and clean so i'm going to change the color go to edit text and then go to color here 
and you can change it to a black color now i want to change this to a poppins so let's say i want to change the font i like it to be a poppins bold since it's a title now let's go back to that page and drag it onto the section where we want it to be amazing so now let's go ahead and choose another text element which we're going to use to display the cuisine so let's go ahead and probably edit this and make it a work stance amazing so this is quite all right i'm still going to change the color to a black color there and i'm also going to drag it all the way to this section now once i'm done i can go ahead and delete this box here and then i can simply go ahead and duplicate this by right clicking on my mouse and then click on duplicate and i can bring this section to the next line and that is all set now don't worry about the design right now whatever you do here will be applied to the next one so all i have to do is to drag this to the top so that it's not too tall on the viewport amazing so this looks like our design is pretty much on point and the next elements that we want to add are the drop down element so we have drop down element that we're going to use to filter our database or content managers so let's go ahead and add a drop down element now the drop down element is an input element and it's also a velo element which means it might not be shown on your ad if you have not activated your velo yet so the input section is a section that has majorly input elements that you use to collect data from users and they are basically velo elements so if you don't find this input section all you have to do is to go over to your dev mode and turn that on now once you do it's going to pop up the code section which we don't need right now and then you can go back to your ad and you should be able to find your input section now what we need is a drop down so i'm going to go ahead and click on a drop down any of them are all right so go ahead and add this to your page and put it where you want it to be you can go ahead and design it the way you want and also the style that you want it to be so you can also choose from the preset that wix already has let's choose this one and i'm going to customize this with the font that i've already been using which is poppins amazing so i already have the kind of layer that i want and i'm kind of satisfied with how this looks right now all right so the next thing that i want to do is to change what this says so this is a placeholder text and you can change what it says by going to the settings and from here you can change the placeholder and say filter by cruising amazing and then there are other things that you can also do which is change the title which is not really necessary right now but i'm going to show you how we will automatically add that for you after we connect it to our data set you can go ahead and choose if you want it to auto complete now this auto complete feature only works on custom design which is a custom list type now that means that you can design how this drop down actually looks like but that is not something we want to go into right now so we can just leave it at the browser level amazing and right now the validation field is not required we don't need it to be a required field it's just an input field and if they choose something or not it's all right all right this looks like we're already on point and we're already getting to the next step which is adding another field that is going to help us to filter for the location now let's go ahead and also duplicate this element so right click and then go over to duplicate and then we can add it over to this section now this is all looking good next thing you want to do is to go to settings again and also change the placeholder to filter by location amazing now we are all done with these drop downs and the next element i want to add is a button element that allows us to reset the filter now let's go ahead and add a button element go to add and then go to button and from here you can choose any of the button elements that you feel more comfortable with i'm going to go with the very first one and then i can freely design this the way i want it to be amazing so i've designed this how i want it to look and the next thing is to change the text and what the text says so i'm going to change this to reset filter awesome so this looks like we are really done with all the elements that we need and the next thing is to connect our content manager to this element so how do we do that to do that we need to add an element called the data sets which is like a, a connector between the database and the site elements that we can see now let's go over to add go all the way to content manager and over here at the data set you're going to find the data set click on the plus sign to add it to your site so this is like a link that connects all the items on your content manager and displays them to the user on the front end now let's go over here and configure this data set as you can see it says data set unconfigured now go to settings you're going to choose the content manager or the collection that you're actually working with mine is called restaurant now once you're done that is literally all you have to do here so let's go ahead and close this and then let's connect our repeater and then let's see how those items display 
so click on your repeater as you can see it also has a connect to data here now go ahead and choose the data set that you just created and then go to the image from here you can see that once you do that it auto populates all of the elements or items that you have on your database now you can begin to choose all of the elements on your database which automatically highlights the element that you're currently trying to connect and mine is the image here the alt text we can choose what the alt text is which is a title and as you change them you can see that it begins to show up on your repeater we also have a tool tip you can also connect it to the title and that is all we need to do for now now let's go back to all connections the next element that we're going to check out is the title so let's go ahead and click on the title and choose the title from our content manager now the next thing we're going to connect is the location amazing now the next element we're going to connect is the cuisine awesome so we've connected all our repeater items and then let's go ahead and stretch this out so it doesn't look all packed up here great now the next elements we're going to connect now are the drop downs and also our filter elements these are showing us all the content from our content manager and the next thing is we want to be able to filter the content from our content manager so that they also display here so go ahead and click on your drop down click on this connect to data as well now it's going to give you two options to either filter the content or collect content so what we want to do is to filter the content so go ahead again and click on connect to data sets and select the data set that you just created and then choose the field that you want it to filter so for me is the cuisine field as you can see right now and then Wix automatically adds a title to your drop down amazing now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the next one to filter the location field so click on the filter content select the data set you just created and then go ahead and select the field you want to filter which is the location field and then finally we have the reset filter go ahead again and click on connect to data go to the click action connects to and then go over to the section where it says reset input values now we have a repeater and we have filter repeaters without even writing a single line of code let's go ahead and preview and see what we have actually accomplished with this tutorial as you can see we have all of the content from our content manager and the next thing we want to do is to be able to filter so as you can see we have all of the inputs from our database base automatically being displayed without any duplicates so when you click on this for example which is french you can see how that has filtered all the contents that contain french in them so this is just an amazing way you can actually accomplish this you can also combine or refine your search by going deeper and saying i want all french cuisine in london and it's going to filter the items that have exactly french cuisines in london amazing and you can also go ahead and reset your filter but let's say you want to filter for the french and you also want to filter for worldwide but you want to change your mind and you want to show all the locations worldwide it also shows you and refines your search to all the locations that are worldwide and one last tip i want to show you here is when it comes to displaying your items on a repeater let's say you have more than 12 items on your content manager and you want to be able to show all of them at once that will slow down your website now there's an element which is called a pagination bar that allows you to view different number of contents on your repeater at a time now let's go ahead and add that pagination bar and then you're going to understand pretty well what it really does let's go back to interactive and all the way to indicators you're going to find something called a pagination bar which is this i'm pretty sure this looks familiar to you as you might have seen it on, on other website now you can also add the same thing to your website and all you need to do here is exactly the same thing go ahead and connect to data and you can choose the data set you want to connect it to and once you do you can see that it automatically changes to the number of pages that are being viewed at a time now i only have exactly 12 items on my content manager and that is exactly how many that it can be shown at a time on a Wix data set so as you can see from here on the Wix data set only 12 items can show and you can control how many items that can show now let's say we want to show six items at a time you can enter the number six and then hit on enter and once you do Wix will automatically adjust the number of items that can show on your repeater and as you can see there are more pages being added now let's go ahead and preview this section amazing so you can see that the pagination bar allows you to scroll between different parts of your pagination of your repeater now this is going to allow your site visitors to be able to scroll or check through different items at a time another fun fact is when you filter through a repeater for example you filter all french content and you want to filter all french content in london it also adjusts the number of pagination here so this pagination also works in line with your filter now i hope this tutorial was very very useful for you if it was please let me know in the comment section and most importantly please don't forget to smash that subscribe button give this video a like and turn on your bell notification to be the first to know of future videos Thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate you and I'll see you in the next tutorial.